The first time I saw you, you were wearing a navy polka dot shirt and I was wearing a strapless white dress. And here we are today on our wedding day wearing the exact same thing. On behalf of Annie and along with Michaela and Bill, we would like to welcome you here to Murrabong. Murrabong in Aboriginal means place of running water, which <laughs> is a bit of an understatement. I'd say raging torrent would be more apt. It's probably karma that we're sitting here today in a muddy paddock with the real possibility of the cars, buses and caterers getting bogged. And this is all as a result of my proposal plan. This is the day that we've been anticipating for several years now and words, <laughs> words cannot express the happiness that Michaela and I feel here tonight. Well Charlie, despite taking your time, we're also happy that you found the right time and place to ask this incredible woman who lights up the world around her to be your partner for life and make her the happiest person in this room tonight. Together we can do anything, we believe in. Charlie found Ali over five years ago, but now I've found out it's seven years ago, but anyway. <laughs> or more likely, Ali found Charlie, because Charlie is a little slow on that, in that department. <laughs> When Char was four or five, he and Kate went to the Gordons to stay, which is just up on the way to Young. During these sleepovers, they learnt many of life's lessons. <laughs> on this occasion, Charlie came home saying, the Gordons said that when I grow up, I have to find a girl and get married. This caused great distress. So for most of that day, Charles wailed, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to get married. And finally, I turned to him in exasperation and I said, don't worry, I won't let you get married. <laughs> Despite this, we're all here today because apparently he does want to get married. And he has. I didn't get the privilege to meet Charlie until year nine at Shaw. We were both playing the 15 A's cricket together and he was the king of spin. Knowing Boydie for as long as I have means to me he's pretty much family. I've been lucky to see a few transformations over time. So we've had Shaw boy Boydie, working class Boydie, fun uni Boydie, engineer Boydie and farmer Boydie. But my favourite Boydie, and hopefully we see him a bit later, is 10 beers Boydie. When I first met Charlie at the Harden Races in 2015, we spent the day in the same small tent with the same group of people, but he didn't say a word to me. So naturally, I thought he really wasn't interested. Later that night, we all ended up back at the local pub. This is where my first impressions changed. I was on the dance floor with the girls when Charlie swooped in and literally swept me off my feet. I was being twirled, dipped, lifted up, flung around, and amazingly for some guy that I'd just met, I felt safe. That's when I realised he was going to be someone pretty special. Most of you here tonight know our daughter as, as Ali. Um, but to her, her family, you've heard me refer to her as Alessandra. There's a, a, a lot of love in this place tonight for Alessandra and Charlie, but that's nothing compared to the love and pride that Michaela and I have for Alessandra and the woman that, that she's become. From the very first time we laid eyes on our precious baby, Alessandra, we knew a very special soul had entered into our world. While the very best came along, when she met Charlie Boyd, the newest member of our family. So Ali first came on the scene, but the initial phone calls, Ali was ticking all the boxes. But uh, a few weeks passed by, and we finally get to meet her. It was at Batemans Bay, we were water skiing, and uh, there was plenty of jellyfish out and about. Ali was stung on the leg, 
And science will tell us that uh, urine, as opposed to Panadol, actually assists with pain and information. So Charlie proceeded to pour a cup of urine on Ali's leg. And from that moment, we knew it was something special. <laughs> To say that Ali has flourished in recent years is an understatement. My high school friend has become a truly inspirational woman. It's clear that Ali has found herself and I'm quite sure that Charlie, you were a huge part of that. To the very lovely Ali, who we all adore, we are so delighted that today you are officially joining our family, although we feel that you have been part of it for years. I have one last person to thank, and that is my beautiful now wife, Ali. I know you, I made you wait quite a while, but I'm so glad that you stuck around. This was particularly evident uh, that night when I popped the question, as the first words out of your mouth were not yes, but I thought this day would never come. <laughs> and this seemed to reflect a lot of people's sentiment. Following the engagement, when people congratulate us, I remember people saying, I'd given up hope. <laughs> or, we thought Ali might have to start asking. <laughs> but we got there. If I could give you one thing in life, I would give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes, only then, would you realise how amazing you are and how special you are to me? I love you more than words can express and I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and starting a family of our own. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glass in a toast to my wife. Ali! to start this next chapter with you. You are the light of my life and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You have been my rock since I packed up my Canberra life and moved to be by your side. You're my best friend, my partner. You've taught me to be patient. You've made me a better person and I'm so proud to call you, call, be, oh, so proud to be your wife. <laughs> so. I can't wait to kickstart our marriage off the exact same way that it started, being twirled, dipped, lifted and flung around the dance floor just like you did the day that we met. To the most promising new partnership in the district, Mr and Mrs Boyd. <laughs> <laughs>